Okay, so in verse 1 we heard about the six urges and the need to control them. Amra Pratham Sloke Janechilam, Yachaiti Beg, Jigulamadir, Neontron, Adoman Koraprajan. Then in verse 2 we heard about six different kinds of unfavorable activities or attitudes which we had to give up. Dithyo Sloke, Amra Jigulam Pratikul, Kajukolab. And then in verse number 3, we heard about six favorable things which we should try to cultivate and which uh, were good for us. So now we're going to go on today to text number 4, which describes about six different kinds of loving exchanges. So right, we had six urges, verse 1. Then we had six things which are unfavorable for devotional service. Now we're going to hear about, oh, oh then we had six, six things which are favorable for devotional service. So text number four is also six items and this is about exchanges, loving exchanges between one devotee and another. Our Right. Dadati prakritinati Dadati pratigrinati Guyamakyati prichati Yamakyati prichati Bongte bojayate chaiva Bongte bojayate chaiva Sadvidam priti lakshanam Sadavidham priti lakshanam Offering gifts in charity, accepting charitable gifts. Revealing one's mind in confidence, inquiring confidentially, accepting prasad and offering prasad. Anubad. Bhagavad Bhakta ke prayajanyo drabbo priti purvak dan tarni kothate kono drabbo prati grahan nijer moner kotha bhakte nikot bhakta kora evang tarni kothate bhajan visay gujjo tochthadi jiggasa kora bhakto pradatto prasad grahan Right, these six kinds of loving exchange are exchanged between one devotee and another. Right. So, in the text 4 purport, Srila Prabhupada says, in the previous verse, Rupa Goswami advised that one should renounce worldly association and keep company with the devotees. Right, this was the last two points. Favorable, six things which are favorable. The last two items, Sangatyagat Satovrite. So, Sangha, give up the association of materialistic people. And Satovrite, keep company with the devotees. So, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness has been established to to help us to cultivate these different kinds of loving exchange between devotees. It's Krishna consciousness is within everyone, but it has to be awakened. They need the opportunity to hear. 
কৃষ্ণ ভগবান অমৃত প্রত্যেকেরই সুপ্ত চেতনাকে জাগ্রত করার জন্য প্রয়োজন তাই এটা যথাযথভাবে শ্রবণ so we preach to everyone we don't make any distinction but anybody who's willing to hear who is submissive we're willing to try and give them krishna consciousness to amader ke bach bichar na korei protteker kache prachar korte hobe jarai ei shrobone agrohi tader nikotei ei bishoy tule dhora proyojon in the chaitanya charitamrita it is written there one verse that nijasida krishna prem sujak kabunai shravanadi shuja chite kore he udai love of krishna is eternally established in the heart of all living entities shri chaitanya charitamrita ullekh royeche nitya siddha krishna prem sadhya kabunai shravan adi shuddha chitte korai udai it's not something to get from some other place এটা এরকম কিছু নয় যে অন্য কোনো জায়গা থেকে এটা পাওয়া যাবে বাট ওয়েন দ্য হার্ট ইজ পিউরিফাইড বাই হিয়ারিং এন্ড চ্যান্টিং দেন দ্য লাভ ইন দ্য হার্ট ন্যাচারালি অ্যাওয়েকেন্স আর যখন এই শ্রবণ কীর্তন আদির দ্বারা হৃদয় পরিশুদ্ধ হবে তখন এই যে ভালোবাসা সেটা স্বতঃস্ফূর্তভাবে হৃদয়ে প্রকাশিত হবে সো দিস ইজ দ্য পারপাস অফ আর কৃষ্ণ কনসিয়াসনেস মুভমেন্ট টু গিভ एवरीवन দ্য অপরচুনিটি টু হিয়ার এন্ড চ্যান্ট তো এইটাই হচ্ছে আমাদের কৃষ্ণ ভাবন অমৃত সংঘের উদ্দেশ্য যে যাতে সকলেই এই শ্রবণ এবং কীর্তনের সুযোগ প্রাপ্ত হতে পারে এভরি ওয়ান শুড বি গেভ না চ্যান্স টু হিয়ার অ্যাবাউট কৃষ্ণ প্রত্যেকেই এই কৃষ্ণ সম্বন্ধে শ্রবণ করার সুযোগ প্রদান করতে হবে ইফ উই রিড ইন দ্য প্রেফেস অফ দ্য কৃষ্ণ বুক কৃষ্ণ দ্য সুপ্রিম পার্সোনালিটি অফ গড হ্যাড ইটস রিটন দেয়ার everyone is looking for krishna some know it some don't lila purushottam sri krishna granther bhumikaye sekane ullekh ache je prottekei krishna onusandhan korche keu jante parche joto joto bhabe keu parche na so we try to give people the chance to come to hear we explain to them about krishna consciousness this is a guyam akyati prichati this is the exchange inquiring confidentially and revealing your mind in confidence te amader protteke aste dite hobe ar ei krishna katha shravaner sujog dite hobe ar ei bhabe protteke krishna bhavana sujog pe ei gujjom ekkhati prichati orthat bhajan bishoyok katha jiggyasha kora ebong bhakter nikot seta byakto kora ei adan pradan sokole korar sujog pabe So if people have questions they want to understand more about life they want to understand problems of the world they can come to us we have all the answers to lokera onek samoy ei jibon somporke ei jogoter samasya somporke jante chay to tader ke aste hobe amader ekhane we know why everybody is suffering we know the problem why what's the cause of all the problem to amra jani je manush keno koshto pacche ar ei somosto samasyar karon ta ki so have to there's some there are some people who are senior and some people are junior the junior people should come and inquire from the senior people to kichu byakti ache borishtho ar kichu ache konishtho tai konishtho der jara senior ba borishtho tader nikot shobon korte ei jante aste hobe if we want to understand the situation of this material world we have to be willing to open our mind to come and hear from the devotee tai amra jokhon ei jolo jagoter sthiti ta ei koshto pao ta onubhob korchi tokhon amader aste hobe bhakter kache amader mon khule sob kichu bolte hobe shunte hobe so this is a gu gu yam akyati prichiti inquiring confidentially and revealing the mind in confidence ei tai hocche gujjom akyati prichiti ei moner kotha bhakter nikot khule bola আর তার নিকট হতে ভজন বিষয়ক তথ্যাদি জিজ্ঞাসা করা ভালোভাবে জানা জাস্ট লাইক হোয়েন সনাথন গোস্বামী ইনকোয়ার্ড ফ্রম লর্ড চৈতন্যা ইজ এ কে আমি কোনিয়া মায়া ইয়ারি তাপা ট্রায়া হু আ মাই ওয়াই দ্য থ্রি ফোর মেজারিজ অলওয়েজ গিভ মি ট্রাবল যেভাবে সনাতন গোস্বামী 
চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভুর সঙ্গে সাক্ষাৎ হয় তিনি অনুসন্ধান করেছেন কে আমি কেনে আমায় যারে তাপত্রয় আর আমি জানি না যে কিভাবে আমার যথার্থ হিত সাধন হবে প্রথমত জানতে হবে আমি কে আমি কেন কষ্ট পাচ্ছি so people need to get spiritual education and it begins by understanding our identity tai manusher ei paramarthik shiksha proyojon jar phol shorup tara nijer prokrito shorup jante parben we want to understand god we want to understand krishna first we have to understand who we are to ei bhagoban somporke krishna somporke janar purbe prothomoto ami ke এই বিষয়টা জানা সব বিশেষ প্রয়োজন তার কৃষ্ণ কনসিয়াসনেস মুভমেন্ট ইজ মেন্ট ফর দিস পারপাস টু ট্রাই টু হেল্প পিপল গেট আউট অফ देयर ইগনোরেন্স টু কাম টু হায়ার নলেজ টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য গোল অফ লাইফ কৃষ্ণ ভাবন অমৃত আন্দোলনের এটা একটা উদ্দেশ্য যে লোকেদেরকে অজ্ঞান অন্ধকার থেকে উদ্ভূত করে এই উন্নত যে জীবনে প্রকৃত স্বরূপে আমরা কি সেই বিষয়টা সকলকে অবগত করানো So we encourage people come and associate with the devotees of Iskon and if they associate with the devotees and the association of devotees there will be these exchanges So tai amra lokeder ke ei bhabe utsahito korte chai je tara asun bhakta sangho korun ebong ei bhabe tara porosporer ekta pritir binimoy kore ei bishoye onnoto hote parben even in ordinary material life some man is doing business he will meet with his customer and he will take him to restaurant and they will sit together and eat together and they will talk amon ki samajik kriya karme ba jemon ekjon byabsayi onno byabsayi somoy sambandha sabha gole take nimontron kore tar mone icche prokash kore ei bishoye tader motamot jante chay kotha bole so the same way people come to devotees they come to our temple and we try to help them to give them some krishna consciousness onurup bhabe onnera sob mandire asbe tara bhaktader shonge korbe ebong bhaktara taderke krishna bhavana lokito korar jonno prochesta korbe shri prabha began the movement alone with no money but gradually people came forward and they tried to help they gave him contributions shri prabha ekok bhabe ei sangathon shuru korechilen kintu পরবর্তীতে ধীরে ধীরে বহু লোকেরা তারা তাদের সহযোগ করতে থাকেন এইভাবে সংগঠন এত শ্রীবৃদ্ধি হয়েছে লোকেরা অনেক প্রকার অনুদান করে এই সংঘকে যেরকম সহায়তা করছে আর প্রতিদান স্বরূপ আমরা তাদেরকে কিছু গ্রন্থ প্রদান করে লোকেরা অত্যন্ত ভালো এবং সেইভাবে যখন শ্রীল প্রভুপদে গ্রন্থ তারা গ্রহণ করছে শিখছে তখন তারা আরো আরো বেশি করে সহযোগিতা করছেন the chanting take part in the spiritual program ebong tara beshi beshi kore asche tara bhakshon korche aro ei bhabe onek onusthane ongsho grohon kore tara aro beshi beshi kore upokrito hoar sujog niche so in this way their krishna consciousness will be awakened by the association of devotees ei bhabe bhakta sange ei krishna bhavana amriter ekta jagoron hocche everyone everything develops by association they we say birds of a feather flock together je bhabe onubad je sokoler ei shonge ortho samogotriyo lokera ekei sathe thakte bhalobashen so somebody is attracted to the devotees they come and they associate with devotees ar sei bhabe ei porjer tara bhakta aschen tara sei samomonobhav apanno bhaktader shonge kore tara upokrito hote parchen so 
in Krishna, uh, 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 in the Vedic culture, it says that when you give charity, you should give it to the Brahmanas. So, Vedic Sanskriti also says that when you give charity, you should give it to the Brahmanas. The brahmanas, they don't usually work. They don't go to factory, they don't work in the office. They're, they're not, the brahmanas, they, they may teach. They do six activities. They teach the deities or they worship the deities. They teach the scriptures or they study the scriptures. And they accept charity and they can give charity. Brahman sadhana so why do the brahmanas get the charity? Because they are engaged in this cultivation of spiritual knowledge. And they cultivate spiritual knowledge and they share it with others. And the, there are four varnas, so there's the Brahman, and then there's the Kshatriya, and the Vaishya, and the Sudra. So the Sudras, they're just working class people, they don't make much money. So the Kshatriyas and the Vaishyas, they're supposed to give charity. They're, they're, not, they're supposed to distribute the money they make by giving charity. Chatte Barno, Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. Sudra ra sadhana to shakale seva kaj kare, tara vesek to uparjan kare na. Kindu Khatriya, Vaishya, jara ortho uparjan kare, tadar uchit e dan kara. And they should give charity for religious functions, big sacrifices or festivals and glory and glorification of the Lord. So Prabhupada said, now just consider if there's a hundred people in a society. So 25% students, then 25% Vanaprastha, 25% householder, 25% sannyasi. So, <coughs> Of course, there's not that many sannyasis. But there's always a lot of grihastas. So the grihastas, they're meant to sacrifice their earnings for to maintain the other ashrams, the brahmacharis and the vanaprastas and the sannyasis. Prabhupada said, just like in communist society, people all support each other. So he said, this is spiritual communism. And Krishna consciousness, everything belongs to God, belongs to Krishna. Nothing is ours. So whatever we have, we should use it for Krishna and that means to help to maintain all of Krishna's servants. So you've got the, the brahmacharis and the vanaprastas and the sannyasis they are all working for their spiritual development. So the other people, the grihastas, they are supposed to support, maintain these other people. Because the grihastas are the ones who are earning the money. They are in family life. 
They're some, some are doing business and some are earning good income. So they're meant to give support to support the other ashrams. And Prabhupada says, Prabhupada writes, he, oh, he said, he writes in Nectar of Instruction, he also said in lectures, he said they should, householders are meant to give 50% of their income. For support. Of course, when we ask people to give that, then they say, oh, no, nobody will, they don't, nobody agrees. They all say, no, no, I have to give so many other people, I can't give like that, I can't give so much charity. Because everybody is maintaining a big house and then they run their motor car and then their children's education. So after they paid all the bills, there's no money left. <laughs> so they spend so much of their earnings that they spend all on the maintaining the body and the, the, the luxury. They want to live in big houses, they want to drive the big car, expensive cars, they want children to go very good schools, expensive education. So the grihastas they're not they're not trained to understand their duties as householders. They're thinking their responsibility is only to their family. They don't see that they're actually being maintained by Krishna. Krishna. They're all part of Krishna's family. Krishna's the one who gives them all the money. But they're taking the money just for their own little family. So in the, one has, the young men, brahmacharis, they have to get training to understand first of all that the world belongs to, this, to Krishna, it's all Krishna's property. Nobody can actually say this is mine, this belongs to me. Everything belongs to the Supreme Lord. So it, when the brahmacharis grow up, when they become householders, then they are, can be more responsible, they can remember their duty. And their duty is that they have to give charity for the service of the Lord. Because in household life, in family life, there is, there is opportunity for materialistic pleasure. So they have a duty to maintain the other ashrams. Because the pleasure, the, 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 
the money they're earning is given to them by the grace of Krishna. So it's their duty to give a portion of their income back for the service of the Lord. So Srila Prabhupada writes in Srimad Bhagavatam about this. He says, in this age of quarrel, Kali Yuga, he said it's the, 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 leading, the leading men and the wealthy men, wealthy people of society, they have to agree to give 50% of their income for the service of the Lord. So if they will do this, then Lord Chaitanya said, then this, this material world which is a type of hell will become like the kingdom of God. We see the Kali Yuga, this society, people all get money, they don't know how to use it properly. They simply use their money for their sense gratification. So people should, they have to give 50% of their gold. They, they have, they collect a lot of gold, they earn a lot of money. They have, they should give 50% for the service of the Supreme Lord. If they do that, then it will restore the four pillars of religion, Satyam, Sochyam, Daya, Tapa. Right. Kali Yuga, the legs of the principles of religion are gone. Meat eating, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex, they have destroyed all the pillars of religion because people have got so much money, so they engage in all these sins. People, they're ignorant. They don't know how to use their money. They just spend it on useless, useless things. They send their children, they spend a lot of money to send their children to universities. Prabhupada said these universities are just slaughterhouses. Young people go there, they lose all their good qualities. So, what is the best thing which devotees can give? What's the biggest gift which we can give to people? The biggest gift we can give them is the chanting of the holy name. So we try to go everywhere preaching, the chant, giving the holy name to people and inviting them to read our books and get some spiritual knowledge. So this is also Dadati, when you give something, Dadati, we give the holy name. Dadati, 
এটা তাকে প্রদান করা and of course we also like to give prasadam it's very important to distribute prasadam আর বিষয় হচ্ছে প্রসাদ দান করা খুবই গুরুত্বপূর্ণ এই প্রসাদ বিতরণ প্রভু পাদ্রোট in 1970 1977 prabhupad wrote a letter to all the temples around the world telling them that every temple must have a sufficient stock of prasadam for distribution asila prabhupad 1977 sale somosto mandir ke ekta chithi likhechilen je prottek mandirer jotheshto porimane prasad mojud thaka proyojon He said they ha- every temple has to keep some very good cooks and they should always be busy preparing prasada when any guest comes he must get prasada to jen prottek mandire ekjon bhalo randhuni thaka dorkar jokhon e kono guest asbe tokhon take jeno prasad dewa jay the cook should prepare prasada for between 10 to 20 people at a time আর তারা সব সময় দশ থেকে বিশ জনের প্রসাদ সব সময় প্রস্তুত রাখবেন অবশ্যই পুরি সবজি পকোড়া হালুয়া এগুলো থাকা আর যখন কোনো অতিথি ভদ্রলোক আসলেন তাকে আপ্যায়ন করে সুন্দরভাবে এই প্রসাদ পরিবেশন করতে হবে তো যদি কোনো কারণবশত বেশি প্রসাদ থেকে যায় তাহলে আমাদের যারা কম বয়সী ভক্তরা আছে তারা সেটা গ্রহণ করে নেবে কোনো ক্ষতি নেই no prasad you cannot say nothing is cooked yet you cannot say oh it's all finished ar chilo prabhu pat kintu bolchen jodi kokhono bolbe na prasad nei ar kokhono bolbe na je sob prasad shesh hoye geche ba beshi ranna kora hoy ni prabhu pat said the temple is managed by shrimati radharani and she is lakshmi ji so he said there's no scarcity আমাদের দর্শন হচ্ছে যে কেউ মন্দিরে আসবেন তাকে প্রসাদ দেওয়া হবে আর হরি নাম করো সুখী হও एवरीथिंग इज सप्लाइड बाय कृष्णा कृष्णा इज नॉट अ पूर मैन व्हाई शुड वी डिनाय एनीवन तो सब কিছু কৃষ্ণের দরনে আছে কৃষ্ণ কোন গরীব নন তাই আমরা কেন এটাকে প্রত্যাখ্যান করব সো প্রপার সেড देयर इज नो डिफिकल्टी आई जस्ट रिक्वायर्स सम गुड मैनेजमेंट तो প্রবলেম কোন সমস্যা নেই শুধু আমাদের একটা ভালো ম্যানেজমেন্ট দরকার এট দ্য এন্ড অফ দ্য ডে if there's left over you can sell it or give it away ar sob ante seta tara hoy bikur deben na hole eta diye debe krishna provides for everyone so why there's no reason why we should be miserly to krishna sokole sob kichu sarbaraho korchen sekane kono karon nei amra keno kripanata korbo if we are being miserly this means we have no faith in krishna আর যদি আমরা কৃপণতা করি তাহলে বুঝতে হবে কৃষ্ণের প্রতি আমাদের বিশ্বাস নেই we are thinking we are the doer we are the supplier no krishna is the doer krishna is the supplier তো আমরা হয়তো ভাবছি আমাদের এটা ভাবা উচিত না যে আমরাই হচ্ছে কর্তা আমি হচ্ছে সর্বরাকরি না কৃষ্ণ হচ্ছে সবকিছু কর্তা সো কৃষ্ণ সবকিছু প্রদান করেন প্রভু পাসার লেট দা হোল ওয়ার্ল্ড কাম উই ক্যান ফিড দেম বিগিন ইট ওয়ান্স ডু ইট নাইসলি সারা বিশ্ব আছে তাদেরকে আমরা খাওয়াতে পারবো সো প্রপার হ্যাড দ্যাট লেটার সেন্ট এভরি টেম্পল ইন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড আর এই চিঠিটি ছিল প্রভুপাদ প্রত্যেকটা মন্দিরে সারা পৃথিবীর পাঠিয়ে দিয়েছিলেন 19th of January 1977 উনিশে জানুয়ারি 1977 সালে প্রপার ওয়ান্টেড লাইক দ্যাট দ্যাট এভরি টেম্পল ইট শুড হ্যাভ দ্য প্রসাদ অফ টু ডিস্ট্রিবিউট 
আর শ্রীল প্রভুপাদ এটা চেয়েছিলেন যে প্রত্যেক মন্দিরের একটা প্রসাদ বিতরণ কার্যক্রম থাকবে রিসেপশন অফ গ্যাস ইজ ভেরি ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট পার্ট অফ বাইষ্ণব এতেকা অতিথিদেরকে আপ্যায়ন করা এটা খুব গুরুত্বপূর্ণ এই বৈষ্ণব সদাচারের একটা অংশ There's another example of this the dati of the dati principle there was one proper servant proper a servant named upendra so when he got an initiation he was supposed to give some present to prabhupad to ekta drishtanto prabhupada ekjon shishya upendra jokhon uni prothom dikha prapt hoyechilen tokhon tini kichu upohar dicchen so he says i had this i had this uh, beach towel a towel which i would use when i go on the beach and i had also a baby blanket so he said uh, i wanted to give these things to prabhat he said they were they were very i was attached to them they were very, they had some value to me and i thought it would be nice to give them to prabhat যেটার প্রতি অত্যন্ত আসক্ত তো আমি সেইটা প্রভুপাদকে দিতে চাই প্রভুপাদিস বস্ত্রটা এনে প্রভুপাদকে দিয়েছেন আর তারপরে প্রভুপাদকে প্রণাম করেছেন আর প্রভুপাদ সেইটাকে দুই হাতে তুলে ধরে বলছে এটা তো বেকার আর But when he went back the next day to see Prabhupada, he went in the evening time and Prabhupada had put the beach towel and the baby blanket on the floor like they were mats or rugs so that the guests could sit on. So when he saw like that, he said, I, he, he said I felt very satisfied that Prabhupada found some use for my offering. So, the day of the day, উপেন্দ্র খেয়েছেন তখন দেখছেন যে ওই সি বিচে প্রভুপাদ যখন বসবেন নিচে সেই তার দেওয়া যে কম্বলটা সেটা পেতে দিয়েছেন এবং তার উপরে আসনের মতো করে বসেছেন তখন সেটা দেখে উপেন্দ্র সে অনেক সন্তুষ্ট হয়েছেন যে যাই আমার দেওয়া অফারিং এটা কাজে লাগছে খুব সুন্দর দৃষ্টান্ত যে সব কিছুই একটা উপযোগিতা আছে so but we have to be careful uh we don't want to associate with people who are maya vadis and who are uh, uh opposed to the krishna consciousness movement kintu amader khub sabdhan thaka dorkar ei maya vadider sangha theke jara krishna bhavana mrite onek bigno srishti korte parbe we have to be very advanced to utilize everything in the service of krishna tai amader ke ottonto unnati korte hobe je sob kichu kibhabe amra krishner sebay upojog korte parbo and if we take money from materialistic people then that or if we take food from materialistic people or non devotee then it will contaminate our heart ar jodi amra ei jol jagate loker kach theke kono ortho ni আর লোকের ওই বাইরের লোকের এরকম থেকে কোনো খাবার ইয়ে করি তাহলে আমরা কলুষিত হয়ে যাব বিকাম ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট টু রিমেম্বার কৃষ্ণ আর তখন আমাদের পক্ষে খুব কঠিন হবে কৃষ্ণকে স্মরণে রাখা সো উই হ্যাভ টু বি ভেরি কেয়ারফুল अबाउट ওয়ার উই অ্যাসোসিয়েট উইথ এন্ড হাউ উই হু উই টেক মানি এন্ড হু উই টেক ফুড फ्रॉम তো সেই জন্য আমাদের খুব সাবধান থাকা প্রয়োজন যে আমরা কাদের সঙ্গ করছি আর কার কাছ থেকে টাকা নিচ্ছি এবং 
by preaching to them. Amon ki prachar karte gyo, jodi maya badi der ke prachar karte jao hoy, jader Krishna prati ekabare vishas ba shraddha nahi, tader tokhon seta ekta aparad gulok par jay. So materialistic people are always thinking about sense gratification. They can never think of Krishna. Jala jagatik lokera sabse indriyo tripti vishaye chinta bhavna kore. Tara kaho ne Krishna vishaye chinta kore na. And if we associate with these people, then also our mind, the thoughts of sense gratification come in our own mind. Ar oi prakar lokeder beshi songo korle, amader mano oi indriyo tripti vishaye chinta korte thakbe. So money is coming to our movement in big quantities. We should not be attached to this money for sense gratification. Everything, every fraction of must be spent for spreading Krishna consciousness movement, not for sense gratification. If we take even a one cent of the collection, then we become fallen. If we use that one for our own personal benefit. So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada used to say, if you get money, use it to print books. तो सुनो भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सुनो सिद्धाकुर बोले चाहें जो दी तुम्हें औरतो पाओ ताहले ग्रंथ छपाओ। माया इज अट्रैक्टिव इन टू थिंग्स इन मनी एंड देन इन द ऑपोजिट सेक्स। माया दुई भाव आम दिन पे प्रलोभ तो करे औरतो आरे विपरीत लिंगेर जा कर्षण। जो व्हेन वी प्रीच वी हैव टू डील विद मनी एंड वी हैव टू डील विद द so, devotee takes everything for Krishna's service. Nothing for sense gratification. There's nothing wrong with money and there's nothing wrong with the other sex, but the problem is how you use it. तो ये औरतों प्राचुर जो बा उन्नो जे विपरीत लिंग जे स्त्री पुरुष सेटा समस्या ना है किंतु समस्या तो अच्छे आम्रा की भावे सेटा उपजोग कर ची। So we have to be very careful how we utilize। ताय आमदर खूब सावधान थकते हैं भावे जे की भावे आम्रा इटा उपजोग कर बो। Okay, we'll stop here. Ask if there's some questions। ताय आम्रा इखाने रख ची कोनो प्रश्नो अच्छे। yeah. Okay. Sometimes we see devotees have firm faith in Krishna. They thought as long as they can get Krishna's blessings, they can do impossible things. But then other devotees thinking the same service, it is not very practical. How should we balance two kinds of mentality from Jamuna Priya Devi Well, the spiritual, what kind of mentality we should have towards the instructions of the spiritual master? So, Guru Devar, Nirde Sir Prati, what kind of mentality should we have? Two extremes, one person thinking... Yeah, two extremes. One person thinking, oh, it's not practical, and the other person thinking, no problem. And the other thing is, one person thinks that it's not possible, and the other person thinks that it's not possible, and the other person thinks that it's not possible. So the order of the spiritual master is very important. The spiritual master asks us to do something. We should, we should keep it in our heart. We may not be able to immediately do it, but we should not give it up. So Guru Devar Nirdesh Tavtanta Guru Tupurno, Sai Nirdesh Amadar Hridaya Dharan Kutte Habe. Hai to Sai Muhurte Seta Kora Jachche Na, Kintu Seta Hridaya Dharan Kore Seta Testa Thakte Habe. 
it takes some time. Just like Prabhupada got the order from his spiritual master to try to preach, use English language and you know, try to preach. So that was in 1933. 1936 his spiritual master left the world. Prabhupada went to America 30 years later. Similarly, Prabhupada wanted a big temple built. Fifty years later, we were coming up with the temple. So it, it takes some time, one has, but one should think that whatever order the spiritual master gives, that should be the life and soul of the disciple. We should never give it up. And if the disciple was thinking, oh, this is not practical, then this is not good. This is not the mentality of a disciple. You have to take the order of the spiritual master as life and soul. So one who is actually the disciple, they'll be enthusiastic, they'll be eager to try to execute the mission of the spiritual master. Do I think Krishna would, can arrange something beyond our ability to accept? Yes, if Krishna wants, he can arrange something beyond our ability to accept. Prabhupada said, God is like someone with ten arms. If they want to give something, we only have two arms. So he can give much more than we can receive. Prabhupada said, Krishna can give us the whole world if we're ready to receive it. So if he wants to give us more than we are able, yeah, he can. But there's not much point. There's no point in him giving us more than we're able to receive. He gives us what we're able to receive. He gives us as much as we're able to handle. How we can help people with Krishna consciousness without associating with them? We have a, you have a lot of friends and they're not devotees. So you have to think how to help them become Krishna conscious. You have to be merciful to them and try to give them... If you, have, you have to also consider who is a suitable candidate for Krishna consciousness, who is open-minded, who is willing to hear and willing to receive. 
তাই আপনাকে চিন্তা করতে হবে কিভাবে তাদেরকে কৃষ্ণ ভাবনামৃত প্রদান করা যায় এবং এ ক্ষেত্রে বিবেচ্য বিষয় হচ্ছে যে কারা অত্যন্ত খোলা মনের এবং কে এটা গ্রহণ করতে আগ্রহ রয়েছে সেইভাবে পরিকল্পনা If you have valuable jewels, you don't want to just throw them in front of the pigs and let the pigs see them. You know, you have something valuable, you want to find the right people to give it the precious thing to. So, if you have any value in your life, you can't give it to your life. So, if you have any value in your life, you can't give it to your life. So, if you have any value in your life, you can't give it to your life. If you have any value in your life, you can't give it to your life. So you have some friends, you know which friends will be interested. You know yourself these friends, you know their pe what they like, what their habits are. You know who would be interested, who would be able to take up Krishna consciousness. And if your friends are not good candidates for Krishna consciousness, then try to get new friends. Well, our ten how do we get rid of the tendency to criticize others? We get rid of the tendency to, to criticize others by seeing the good in others and by seeing our own faults. We have to look at our own faults and see how bad we are. I am so fallen, I am so useless, I have no right to criticize anybody. I am lower than the worm in stool. Anyone who utters my name, they lose all their pious activities. Anybody who just hears about me, they become sinful. <coughs> so I'm very fallen. So I have no right to criticize anybody. So devotees having problems dealing with other devotees, having arguments with devotees. So how can we understand this? Is this our own ignorance or is this Krishna's desire? So if you have to say that 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 you Yeah, it's, you can't blame Krishna for this. This is our fault. We're to, we're to blame. Our ignorance is not the fault of Krishna. So we have to work on this. You have to start trying to develop a more positive relationship with other people, not arguing with them, not finding fault with them. তাই আমাদের একটা সব সময় একটা অনুকূল ভক্তের সঙ্গে আচরণ করতে হবে সব সময় তার দোষ খুঁজে বেড়া তার সঙ্গে তর্ক বিতর্কে জড়িয়ে পড়া এরকম আচরণ থেকে নিজেকে বিরত থাকতে হবে 
that wherever they go and whatever they're doing, they'll get in an argument, they'll have a fight with people and they'll be quarreling. This is Kali Yuga. That means they're under the modes of nature, they're under the influence of Kali. They should not allow Kali to influence them. So, so you're arguing and quarreling with people. You're talking too much, too much nonsense talk, too much talking many different mundane things leading to quarreling. You should just chant the holy name. Don't waste any more time talking gossip. Just chant Hare Krishna. And if you're chanting Hare Krishna all the time, there'll be no more quarreling. That's right, you're living in such a high standard, there's nothing left. You've, you've made your, 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 your house is so expensive. <laughs> you have to reduce your standard of living. We take the money and give it, we take the money on the behalf of our society. We don't take the money personally. If we take the money personally, we become contaminated. But if we take the money for the society, for ISKCON, there's no harm. We don't take anything for ourselves from them, but we take it for the for ISKCON. We give it to ISKCON and ISKCON uses it. Then there's no problem. Okay, we have to stop. Any questions left? No more questions? Oh, very good. Very good. Hare Krishna. Oh. Okay.